We've all heard it before. The vagina is a self-cleaning oven. But is it really self-cleaning? Cause sometimes the bread ain't smelling so fresh. The answer is yes, the vagina is self-cleaning. And of course, there's a whole biological process at work up in there. But just because your oven is self-cleaning, that doesn't mean your stove is. If you're feeling lost about what the kitchen has to do with your vaginal care routine, it's all good, because we're about to break down the science of the self-cleaning oven. I was probably way into adulthood when I actually learned that my vagina was self-cleaning. I would say I was probably in my 30s. You have natural, a natural way of your body um, cleanses itself. My mother comes from a different time, and in her day, Cleaning yourself meant that that whole self-cleaning oven thing was a myth. You need to be powder fresh down there. You need to smell like a meadow. Internally, your vagina is self-cleaning. Vagina is an internal part and vulva is the external part. We've all been taught now like not to douche, but it kind of leaves out the part of cleaning your vulva. This is your vulva, aka the stove. It's on the outside of your body. This is your vagina, aka the oven. It's on the inside of your body. Now. We need to talk about the vaginal microbiome. It's the team of microorganisms living in our vagina, making sure the good bacteria outweighs the bad bacteria to keep your coochie balanced and bang it. When you think of bacteria, you might think of nasty little things that can make you sick, but there's also good bacteria in our bodies. The dominant kind of good bacteria in your badge is called lactobacillus. Our girl LB helps prevent infections by producing lactic acid, which leads the team in preventing unwanted organisms from overgrowth in your vagina. Ever looked in your underwear and saw bleach stains? Yeah, that's LB being so acidic, it takes the color right out your panties. And that brings us here. You see something in your drawers and it's not your period. Oh my God, what? That's the ooey gooey miracle that is discharge. Your uterus, cervix, and vagina produce mucus for a bunch of different reasons. One, it houses the microbiome. Two, it creates lubrication and a physical barrier between your vaginal tissue and whatever might make its way up there. Three, it can clear away semen, blood, and oil shedding cells. When its job is done, the mucus makes its way out of your vaginal opening as discharge. It happens every day and is completely healthy and normal. When you're ovulating, your discharge is more likely to be wet and slippery. That so sperm can easily slip and slide up there and get to an egg. It might also look like egg whites around this time in your cycle. When you're not ovulating, your discharge will be thicker and white. It could resemble craft glue or yogurt. It's also normal for discharge to be a little pink, a little brown, or a little red from spotting between periods and oxidation of old blood. So why is everyone talking about how our vagina is self-cleaning anyway? Because people be douching. You don't need to rinse out your coochie, y'all. Don't do it. Douches are bottles filled with water and other liquids that are squeezed up your vagina, rinsing everything out including all that healthy mucus and the team of good bacteria we were just cheering on a minute ago. Humans who douche regularly are five times more likely to develop bacterial vaginosis than humans who don't. Douching can also make you more susceptible to STIs and pelvic inflammatory disease. So now we know why nobody needs to clean out their vagina. But your stove, aka the outside parts, your vulva, is a different story. Even though your vulva is close in proximity to your vagina, in terms of skin, sweat, and smell, it acts more like an armpit too hot, my freaking vagina's sweating. Like your pits, your vulva skin has hair follicles, sweat, and oil glands. When you're moving around all day, sitting, standing, running, dancing, discharge, discharging, bacteria and bodily fluids can build up in the labial fold. And what's inside those sweat and bacteria catching labial folds? The vaginal opening, a direct line to your insides. Your urethra is in there too, and if bad bacteria get in there, it may give you a urinary tract infection. All that sweat, oil, and bacteria might start to get a little loud, and you probably want to wash your vulva. But wait, basic as artificially scented soap can irritate it. Plus, the products you use on your vulva can still get inside the vagina. That's where a gentle pH balance wash comes in. The pH levels of honeypot washes mirror the healthy pH levels of the vagina, so our washes clean out all that stuff without disrupting the vaginal microbiome. Or if you just want to use water, that works too. It is your coochie. My vagina is a convenience store, clean and reliable, and closed on Christmas. TLDR, your vagina is self-sufficient, but your vulva might need a little help. Remember, None of this is meant to take the place of medical advice, so talk to your doctor about any specific issues you might be dealing with. But until next time, stay balanced, folks.